Welcome back to AM Northwest. Have you ever had a great idea and thought, wow, I wonder if this could turn into a successful business as well? Well, that's just what our mompreneurs did with their invention called the Boogie Wipes, with a projected sales now of $4.8 million dollars and that's going to be in 2000. <laughs> Did you like the million? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the million dollars. So we welcome Boogie Moms, Mindy Doney and Julie Pickens. You came up with this idea, Boogie Wipes. So let's first find out about the idea and then tell us how you came up with it. So we're taking a look at this. Right. Yeah, boogie wipes are they're a gentle saline wipe for your nose. So um, they have added vitamin E and aloe in them. So they moisturize as you're constantly like wiping kids' noses over and over so they don't get red and chapped. Um, so it's kind of just a nice alternative to a shirt sleeve or the couch or the curtain. <laughs> or, just, or just, you know, a fast food napkin that you yeah, have in the car. Yeah, exactly. Right. Why'd exactly. you come up with it? Well, we were together one afternoon, um, and my daughter was almost one at the time. And a lot of times, pediatricians will recommend that you take that saline nose spray, let your kids down, hold them, squirt it up, the bulb syringe, suck it out. And we thought there's got to be an easier way to do this. So I think, like most good ideas, we thought, you know, let's let's see what happens. What if we put the saline on the wipe? Right. So and sure enough, it worked. And then you took your idea to market. <laughs> you had you uh, you had to obviously go to somebody unless unless you've got a, an incredible garage to package all this for you, right? So you took this idea to, to somebody to, to put together. How, what was that process? Um, for the first thing we had to do was hire a chemist and make sure that the saline was going to work, it was going to be active, it was going to be gentle and effective. Do you look under Yellow Pages chemist? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Google is the best tour. Yeah, really? For an entrepreneur today, Google everything. It's okay. out there. You can find it. Yeah, so that's so, very true. Yeah. So you're satisfied that, that all the ingredients would work and then you have to go to manufacturing, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Right. Yep. So right. we found a manufacturer, we researched that, found a good quality that we wanted in the product, um, and you just start going back and forth on it. There's, there's a lot to think about when when you're starting your own product but really the key is to take it one step at a time because you can get very overwhelmed with where you want it to go and how to get it into the store and how to you know pay for all of it and all those things and I think just the idea of get getting it to be a good solid product and making sure it's gonna work what was the biggest challenge for you hmm. what do you think Gosh, there's probably been just, a few. Yeah, yeah probably just Absolutely. staying on track. I mean, yeah. really focusing on the issues at hand and, you know, okay, the packaging and then finding the manufacturer and then and then going after the, you know, retail and getting it did, into the marketplace. Did you ever, did anyone ever say, this isn't going to work? Oh, we've had, we've had obstacles. This, yeah. You know, maybe this package, maybe people have seen, we went through quite a few before we found the one that worked. And, yeah. Um, but, you know, those people were our biggest blessing because they made us stop and go, okay, take well, what look. is going to work? Yeah. Okay. And how, from so, start to finish, how long did it take? Um, we got our first shipment in October, just last October. And now, how many stores are you available in? Um, by May, it'll be about 7,500. 7, That's incredible. Yeah. And then you have also yeah. the little the little travel packs too. We right? do. You put the glove yeah. box in the car. And, uh, you know, I see these things now at the at the uh, at the OB's office when they come back <laughs> right. in with a little test. Guess what? Yeah. And here's, some, here's some vitamins and how about a boogie wipe? There you need go. that. There you uh, go. Uh, what a great idea. And, yeah. and kids don't fight you on it, do they? They don't. They they don't. Just, it well, hurt. and that's one of the reasons we came out with it. This one is not on the market yet, but it's our grape uh, version of it. Grape? It's grape. Yeah. This, uh, oh. Great grape. Yeah. And um, <laughs> maybe you should come up with a uh, bacon version. Oh, yeah, we heard you. <laughs> so you do this and you wipe the nose and it smells like and grape. It smells like grape. So kids are, you know, it's kind of like candy on their nose. Kind of a little treat. Okay. Our oh. kids ask for them. Mom, yeah, I need do. a boogie wipe. I need a boogie wipe. Uh, and no. since you've launched this, I mean, you guys have been all over the place. You were, you were on uh, uh, with uh, Donnie Deutsch on the, the show, The Big Idea Show. Yeah, and yeah. now he's an interesting guy because he's got the glasses <laughs> down, the wild looking hair. He is a smart man, I will tell you. He yeah. is, but yeah. he calls a spade a spade and he, and he loved it. So we were thrilled to have his endorsement on the product. And mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was quite a journey. And so many people have seen us from there. And that's why we've started these mompreneur events because we've had, we've had so much media exposure. And, you know, the retail things came and the boogiewipes.com sales are going crazy. But the thing that's been the most overwhelming is all the people that have asked us for help and advice yeah. and what do we do and Julie and I started this company I think with the idea that eventually we really want to be able to help through charity work and things of that sort but until we're at that point right. we want to help with our time and resources so we're getting out there and, and we're going to some Fred Myers mm -hmm. coming up which I know yeah, um, let's, let's tell folks about it because you've got a, you're conducting a series of uh, mompreneur events at Fred Myers you mentioned February the 16th through the 3rd and we're gonna put all the information on our website at k2.com you guys thank you what so much and congratulations 
millions yes. on the millions that will soon I, turn into billions. Oh, I'm sure. We like that. Yeah, for, for my family, it's about eight years too late. But uh, but I'm, as I get older, I'll be using them again. There you yeah, go. Good. Yeah, well, look forward to it. Thank you so much. Hopefully Thanks on your nose. Yeah, my, yeah, exactly. <laughs> when we come back, outdoor gadgets. <laughs>